Tally ho, me mates! Welcome to a new Let's Play, which is an old Let's Play, but is now a new one again. Lost Eden! Now this is a DOS game, back from my childhood. I played this a lot as a kid. So many times I completed this game. Holy hell. So it was made by Virgin Interactive and Cryo Interactive. I think Cryo- My Cry name is Eloy, and I am old. These days, I'm content to look out at the world from high in the white arch. Yes. But when I was younger, I traveled the world and saw many great wonders. And of all the tales I could tell, none is more wonderful than that of Adam, Prince of Mo. That's me! Okay, so very quickly, this game is a game about dinosaurs and humans living together. This game was in, uh, made on DOS. It's for DOS, and I think it was like 1996 or something. And as you can see, see, the graphics are brilliant for the time. The music is absolutely exquisite. Um, oh, it's just absolutely amazing. I, I, I absolutely love this game. It's one of my all-time favorite games, if not my all-time favorite game of all time. Ah, uh, and that is, that is terrifying. Those freaking Tyrannosauruses. In those times, the Tyran were once again on the rampage. Thirsty for blood and carnage, their leader was the dreaded Marcus Rex. The years of uneasy peace had come to an end. Okay, so as that says, basically Marcus Rex, Marcus Rex is the main bad guy. He leads the Tyran, which are basically the Tyrannosaurus Rexes. There are gonna, oh by the way, there are gonna be some audio glitches in this, probably, because it is a very old game. And it was for DOS, and I'm trying to run it on Windows 7, so, you know, it's it's not going to be perfect, let's just say that. So this is basically just... The trust that had once united humans and dinosaurs was lost, and none could stem the pitiless tide that swept down from the north. So basically, you're playing as Prince Adam of Mo. Now, Mo is the kingdom that you are in, and... You basically possess the. You're basically housed in the only major citadel left in the world that I know of, that I remember. It has been a long time since I've played this. I do have an old playthrough of this on my channel already, but it was back in 2011 or 2012. I can't remember when I were when I had hardly any good gra uh, technical stuff, any experience, and I had no face cam. In all the lands, there was but one place of safety. Yeah, just the, the one. citadel at Mo in the kingdom of Mashar. Well, that just explains what I was trying to explain before. <laughs> but as you can tell, this place is huge, all right? <laughs> Look at that. You can you can hear some audio glitches. I do apologize, but this this game is worth watching. Adam's father brooded within the castle's massive walls, unwilling or unable to see that Marcus Rex would never stop until the whole world lay bleeding at his feet. That's quite dark. There's me. There's Adam, Prince of Mo. That's me. They're not me though. They're dinosaurs. They don't have eyes. <laughs> Now, something about this game is the music is something I really, really love. Uh, I can't remember who did the music. I will look it up before I get into the gameplay. I'll look it up and say the name. Um, I think it's someone with a French name. I honestly can't remember. I will look it up after this intro. But basically, this is just showing off some of the areas in the game. Um, it is a point-and-click adventure, similar to Monkey Island, but it's all 3D, and it's a first-person perspective. Now, that's a, that sounds like quite a weird sort of combination, but I, I think that's what I loved about this game the most, is that it was unique, and, you know, it was something that I hadn't seen before. My story begins on the very day Prince Adam came of age. I had just arrived at Mo with grave news from the north. Oh no, that's not good. Eloy. All right, here we go. This is the game. So as you can see, it's a cur I have a square box that rotates a cursor. It shows the direction there I can go. And if I go to the left, it says I can go left here. If I go down, it doesn't say anything because I can't go down. And to the right, there's nothing to the right, so I can't go that way either. So this is the game. So if I just go around this little loop on the left here, just to show the animation and graphics. For 1996, this was insane. I love it so much. <laughs> 
I just love this game so much and I couldn't help but play this again on this channel because I wanted to do it a new let's play, a fresh let's play um, on this channel with my more up to date graphic, um, not graphics, more up to date like technical things with the microphone, the webcam, sorry that's not the webcam, that's my headphones, webcam and my face cam and stuff like that so you know it's it's brilliant i'm so happy to be playing this again okay so there's me adam of mo and if i click on myself i get to the main menu here where i can change the music voice and uh other things music during speech i'll bring down a bit uh overall speech i'll bring up a bit and i can save my games here so i'm gonna just save my game in one to start off with there we go now i can load it there whenever and I'll be back in a second, just looking up the artist of the music. Okay, the composer of the music in this game was someone called Stefan Peek. I think I've pronounced that right, and that's what I said in the last Let's Play of this I did, I did as well. I wasn't sure if I pronounced it right. But basically, there is a lot of dialogue in this game. Um, a lot of probably getting lost around, like, around the world, because it is a point-and-click game, and I forget where to go sometimes. You'll see what I mean soon. Let's talk to this guy. Counselor Monk look for you. Thank you. King want you in uh, throne room. Thanks, thug. Adam not leave. King orders. Thug obey king. Alright, so this is Thug. He's one of the main characters in the game, believe it or not. But, um, yeah, he's not in the game very much at this point in the game. So we'll just go down here now, watch this beautiful animation. Uh, for the time at least Yeah, turn that light off the prince is coming bitch. Oh, I love this game so much The music in this game just makes me feel happy. Listen to it. It's just amazing All right, so we can go left right or in the middle we need to go in the middle But I'm just gonna explore to the left and show you guys what's this way Open let me into that 2d picture all right, this is a uh, another creepy character, but his name is. All right then. Uh, I actually forgot what this guy's name is, but yeah, we don't we can't do anything with him yet, so we'll come back later. To the right, there's a gate which we can't go through yet, but I'll just show you anyway. Yeah, we can't go that way, so we'll just head back, and we'll we'll go forward. Sorry, my phone again going off. Right. Okay, so again, we got three ways. So the right here is my room, Adam's room, the Prince of Meadow, of course, not to brag or anything, but I was born into a good bloodline. Alright, so this is Adam's room, very nice looking. And if we go left, we can go into the crypt, or the morgue, or whatever it is, and we'll meet a next main character here. His name is Monk. There you are, my lord. It's me, Monk. Your father asked me to look for you. He would like to see you in the throne room. Thanks, monkey. Your father has a visitor. <laughs> Not for funny, monkey. You ought to get to the throne room. I know, you've already told me. All right, he has a visitor. Let's look at this tablet thing, because this is very important. Uh, not yet, but it will be very soon. This curious tablet was taken from Wukong, the captured Tyrion general, whose roaring keeps everyone awake. I have studied the tablet for many years, but it remains a mystery. Okay, guys, I just want to put this out here. This Let's Play is going to be mostly dialogue heavy, and this is just something that I want to do for my channel. This is for me, this Let's Play. A lot of Let's Plays I do for myself, but I also do for you. But if you enjoy this, then that's a bonus, but this Let's Play, I'm doing this for me. So I'm not going to talk through the dialogue. To, make, to be funny or anything, I'm going to take this Let's Play as serious as I can because I just love this game so freaking much and I want to do it justice. So I hope you guys understand that. Um, and I've still got other playthroughs going on at the same time, so you guys can enjoy that as well. But if you want to watch this, then fine, go for ah, it. Ah, Prince Adam, Eloy. it's a great honor to meet you. This is one of my favorite characters in the whole friggin' game, Eloy. I just love him so much. He's, I love everything Adam, about this game. My son. I asked old monk to send you here. I fear this day of your coming of age will not be the joyous occasion we had planned. Why not? Oh no! This is Eloy, and he brings grave news from the north. Not the north! Eloy? Anyway, but the north! It's been northerners. I'm a northerner too. Yay! My lords, 
The city of Shamar has been attacked and destroyed by the tyrant. Oh no! The humans there have been slaughtered and taken for food. Yummy! There are few survivors. That is not a good time. When I say I'm taking this game seriously, I mean, I am still gonna crack jokes and talk like that, but I'm not gonna like be uh, oh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da look at that silly dinosaur, sort of thing. <laughs> I'm just gonna be uh, taking it seriously in my own mind, but trying to be funny at the same time. Shamaha destroyed. Yes. It seems Morcus Rex and his Tyran hordes will not rest until the whole world has been turned to blood and ashes. That's kind of disturbing thought, really. You see the dangers which lie outside our fortress, Adam. I do. Its mighty walls are all that stand between us and destruction. You must remain within the Citadel. This is my order. Basically, Adam has never been allowed out the Citadel because... I don't know if it's going to explain it here. I think it does, but the king here, I've forgotten his name, but the king, he, uh, his wife and his sister went out of the citadel and they were killed by the Tyran, the Tyran. So ever since that happened when I was a kid, he's not wanting me to go out the house, uh, the citadel, not the house. It's a bit big for a house. He's not wanting me to go outside the fortress. You are my only surviving <laughs> child, the heir to the throne of Mashar. Your duty is here in the Citadel of Mo with your people. Yes, apparently. So I've not been allowed out ever in my whole life. Never forget there you that go. your sister and your mother, my beloved Jelana, were murdered not more than one day's march from here. <coughs> the same fate must not befall you. <laughs> I will try not to, but I'll just burp in the Tyrant's face. That'll scare him away. Right, let's talk to Eli. I may visit you in your room later. If you know what I mean. <laughs> All right. I've been telling the king of my travels. That's nice. I don't care. All right, so we'll look at... Begging your pardon, my lords. I'm weary. May I take my leave? No. Perhaps I'll see you again before I leave more, Prince Adam. Well, you just said you'd visit my room, so that's a yes. All right, let's go over here. Sorry for the audio glitches again. You'll, it'll just have to be a thing that you deal with. All right, looking at this thing here... Morcus Rex. This tells you a bit about him. The Tyran destroyer of men and dinosaurs. What about women? The Tyran killed your mother and exactly. your sister Leonore when you were only a few months old. I realized then how foolish we were to dream of resistance. Morcus Rex. Alright, I get it. So this is just a bit of backstory here, guys. Your grandfather. The Enslaver tore down the citadels. All of them, save Mo, our home. What a douche. And all because his thirst for power knew no bounds. Again, what a douche. The architect's dream was trampled in the dust. Yeah, so my my grandfather, the Enslaver, is a douche, which was this guy's daddy, the guy talking. All right, a bit more backstory, and then we'll move on. Your great-grandfather, the architect, was a mighty builder. It is hard to believe that he built citadels like this one across the world. Talented guy. How he accomplished such wonders, we will never know. Shut up, phone. Sorry, the guy, my great grandfather was the guy who built all the citadels and tried to bring dinosaurs and men together. But then my grandfather, his son, destroyed all that, destroyed all the citadels, and Morcus Rex basically had full reign of what he wanted to do and kill humans, kill dinosaurs. He ha Morcus Rex hates the idea of humans and dinosaurs working together. And then, yeah, so there's only one citadel left in the world thanks to my grandfather, the Enslaver. Um, and that's this one which we're in. So let's go in my room because Eloy said he'd come pay us a visit. Ah, God! <laughs> Forgive me for entering your room, Prince Adam, but I have a message which should not reach the king's ears. Oh, wow. What is it? Do you fancy me? The female Dina wishes oh. urgently to speak with you outside. And maybe she wants some, you know? She has unlocked the gate to the side entrance, so you'll be able to slip out without being seen. It's Sneaky. my duty as a guest of your father to remind you of his wishes. Yeah, but you want me to secretly go, don't you? Alright, so let's talk to him one more time. I understand you're curious about the world outside. Perhaps you'll find this small stone of interest. Oh good! Of all things from the outside that you bring me, you bring me a shitty little stone that looks like a freaking chocolate button with a little marking on it. Well, screw you, Eloy. I didn't like you anyway. You can have it back. It was given to me by a group of nomads from the east. 
Allow me to present it to you as a gift for your coming of age. So you get given a shitty little stone and think, I don't want this, I'll just give it to the next person I see. Oh, I know, I can give it to pr the prince as a coming of age gift. That'll get me off the hook so I don't have to buy him something expensive. Not that we have money in this world and age, but whatever. All right, so he told me that Dina, the female, is this way. Now the gate is open. Oh God, she's a dinosaur. I can't stick my penis in that. She's a 2D dinosaur too, a cardboard co- Oh, Adam, okay. you have come. That's what my she said. grandfather Tao is dying and begs to speak with you. Oh no. Let me take you to him. No one will see us. No one will see us doing other things, baby. All right, so basically, she's joined my party now, temporarily at least. Uh, this up here is where all the party members will be. There'll be a good amount of them at some point. And you can talk to them at, at will. My grandfather Tao is dying and begs to speak with you. Let me take you to him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nope. I've already seen that. Okay, so you can also give items to people as well, or show them items. There seems to be some kind of inscription. It's an interesting stone. I wonder what it's for. I don't know, probably giving to someone that you d that you hate, like me, <laughs> because it's a shitty little thing that no one cares about. Alright, I'm just going to drop a save. There we go. And that's the end of this video, guys. This has been an introduction video to Lost Eden, and oh, I hope you enjoy this Let's Play so much. Uh, I really hope you enjoy it. I mean, I'll be honest, most people probably will not enjoy this Let's Play, because it's a very different kind of game to what I usually play, but I'm playing this for me. So, if anyone wants to watch it, then by all means watch it. If not, that's okay. It's just me wanting to play this game again. It's extra time editing, but I don't care because I get to play Lost Eden. Yeah! Alright, so, <laughs> thanks very much for watching, guys and girls. I hope you've enjoyed this so far. If you have, then please leave a like down below and leave a comment and maybe even subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next video. I really hope so, because this is going to be a great ride, a great dinosaur adventure, and it's not going to be a super long one. The last Let's Play I did was about 11 parts, and that was going at the same pace as this, approximately. So, I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye for now, mates. I love you all. Okay. Oh, 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 Jesus Christ! The game was released for the PC on DOS, obviously. Um, it was also released on the Macintosh, 3DO, and the CDI. Uh, Cryo actually.